It's been a minute. It's been a minute in general, but we back with the NBA 2K24 videos. And I know y'all used to be running with my Kevin Durant deal as I get in and miss the layup. Holy smokes. We out here smoking layups and it's looking real smoky in Orlando right now. But I do a dunk on top of his head. What's good with y'all again, man? Hello. We are back. And I know when y'all see me play too gay, I'm running with my JaVale McGee build or my Kevin Durant build. But this time, I'm running with my Dwight Howard build, and we are in Orlando, Florida. So it's only right. And right now, man, as I get my little activation or whatever the skill is, I don't really care, man, but it just allows me to run a little bit faster so I can run past the defense and get easy dunks, man. But hopefully... We get out of here with the gun we are playing on Hall of Fame. And I do not show any love to Hall of Fame. If you've been watching the videos on this channel for 2K, you know that I got drugged something seriously, something viciously when I was running with Kevin Durant's build. Man, it was just atrocious, bro. It is what it is, man. But we are with the Dwight Howard build, and I'm going to tell you how I did this guy, man. He's not maxed out to his full potential. He has his standing dunk maxed out. He got, his, he got his blocking pretty solid. It ain't really up to the max. He has his vertical maxed out. He has his strength maxed out. And I'll tell you what the numbers are. So for standing dunk, I have it at 92. So we can go ahead and get those contact dunks. Woo! We another block. Yes, sir. His driving dunk is a 90. Yes, it's a 90. His free throws are super trash. It's like 50. His mid range is trash. We ain't gonna talk about it. His fucking three-pointer is trash, and it's all gravy, though, man. But his interior defense is a 90, what, 6? Interior is 96. His perimeter is like a 60, which is what it's going to be for a big man. His blocking is 91. His offensive rebounding is 80. His defensive rebounding is 90. His strength is 94. His vertical is 86, bro. Come on. This is the Dwight Howard, but when I created it, it gave me Dwight Howard. And you know how I feel about the shades of. If it doesn't show the player that you're saying it is in the shades of, it is not that player. It's motherfucking Antoine James. I get like another block, just like Dwight Howard do. And I hate the, I hate the fact that Dwight Howard is judged unfairly. Like, they judge him for shit that happens outside of the court. I don't care what you do outside of the court, man. That's about what you do when you step on that hardwood floor. And as far as I'm concerned, he's, he was one of the best. He probably was the best center in the 2000s, bro. In the early 2000s and at the end of the 2000s, bro. Dwight Howard has three defensive player of the year awards, bro. This man was a fucking beast, man. He took Orlando to the finals. Who was the second leading scorer? Kito Turkoglu, bro? Come on now, dog. Who, bro, come on, man. Like, let's be for real. Let's be for real, man. Of course, he got beat to sleep by Tim Duncan, Manu, and that boy T. -T Mountain Miles. But the fact that he brought that team on his back, on them shoulders, bro, to the finals, that should say enough. So, again, I like Dwight Howard. I think he's judged incorrectly or unfairly because of stuff that happens outside of the court or the beef with Kobe Bryant. People saying he's soft or he smiles too much. Man, let the man be, man. He's a cool person. I think I met him a couple years ago, like back in, like, 08. Cool dude, man. Like, really nice, man. Really approachable. Y'all can say what y'all want to say about the man, but I'm going to go ahead and get this slam. You know what I'm saying? But hopefully on this series, y'all rock with it. If y'all rock with it enough, then we'll just keep it going. Maybe we can bring a championship to Orlando. And if you didn't know, Orlando has some of my favorite jerseys of all time. Not the current ones that we're playing in, but the 2001 to 2003 jerseys, the ones with the, with the speckled stars on it, fire. The blue one, fire. The white one, fire. They just... They just, they just hard work, classic hard work. <laughs> they just made it a retro. Like it's a, it's a official retro now. This year they'll be wearing it this year. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm just excited about it, bro. And it's like a hundred and something odd dollars to buy the jersey. I really want one. I'm probably I'm gonna get one. I'm just gonna put my name on it so I can personalize it. I don't like wearing other people's name on the back of my jersey anymore. Now I just get straight up custom jersey. That's what I do now. I know when I was a kid, I used to always want custom jerseys. 
now as an adult, I just right. buy custom jerseys, man. It makes me feel like I'm a part of the team. But yeah, man, we've been running our miles, man. And we are up going into halftime. Let's look at the scores. 52 to 68. And right now, we're starting to run away with it. If you didn't know, all you really got to do is just make sure Luca. And Kyrie don't get started. They don't got no small forward, no foul forward, no center. So that's why I'm going to town on these boys. That's why I'm trying to get a 40-40 on these boys, man. I'm going to try to get a 40-40 because right now at halftime, I have, what, 24? I have 24 rebounds, man, at halftime. That means if I play the same way in the second half, I can get almost 50 rebounds. I've never gotten a 40-40 game. I've done 30-30 before, but I need I need that 40-40 game so I can feel elite. And it ain't been done probably since Will Chamberlain, bro. It ain't been done since that boy, Will Chamberlain, or maybe even that boy, Kareem Abdul-Jamar. But I'm ready to do that right now and it's been always no eluding me and i'm gonna i'm gonna tell y'all right now it's been eluding me so much like i would get to like 37 rebounds and then i won't get another rebound for like five minutes straight i'm like okay i'm about to get this fucking 40 40. next thing you know five minutes go by not a single rebound like i can't jump the ball is never where i need to be and i do be believing that 2 k be cheap i believe that they be placing the ball and places where I can't get it purposely, or they'll make me not jump for a rebound that'll be right in front of me, or the ball will just go right out of bounds. Man, it's been a lot of wacky, tacky shit, but I am selling this guy out, man. I am playing like that boy Dwight Howard shit. I'm playing like Shaquille O'Neal. I should have put the number at number 33 or number 32 while you're bullshitting. And speaking of the number, I wonder why they haven't retired tax players. You know what I mean? But I get, I get Shaq left. And maybe Orlando is one of those places that hold grudges. Like, yeah, you left us. I'm not retiring your number. Because they should retire Shaq and Dwight's number, bro. Like, they should definitely retire those two. Because Dwight did a lot in that jersey, bro. He did a lot. He got all his accolades besides, like, All-Star. All-Star games. In those unis, bro. So they need to go ahead and retire that man number 12, bro. Stop playing. Even Shaq, bro. Shaq's one of the greatest players ever played a game of basketball, bro. Retire his number, bro. Retire. He brought y'all to y'all first finals, him and Penny. It was mostly him. If it wasn't for him, man, it, it wouldn't would even been as close as it was, man. And you know that because when he left, it was just the Penny show. And Penny wasn't really doing what he was able to do with Shaq, man. So I'm just saying, retire Shaq's jersey. You know, Shaq in Orlando. When I think about them pinstripe boys, I think about Shaquille O'Neal. Then I think about that boy, Kenny. And then I think about Horace Grant, you know. When I see those speckled stripes joints, I think about T-Mac, Tracy McGrady. Tracy McGrady. And then when I see the jerseys that we got on now, I think about the White Howard. I don't think about Paulo. Shout out to Paulo. Paulo is a, a great player. He's going to be a beast for years to come. They definitely made the right choice when they picked Paulo. Because a lot of people are like, eh, Paulo, I mean, that's a good pick. But Paulo, we don't know. He's great. He could be blah, blah, blah. But it looks like they hit on that pick. And one thing about Orlando, one thing about Orlando for sure, whenever they get a first pick, they always 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 hit on the first pick even when they got c webb and traded them for penny either way it go if, if they would have kept c webb it still would have been a good pick and then they got penny for it which was still a good pick they got that boy shack number one one of the best people in the you know in the game you know one of the one of the greatest who ever played the game and then they turn around and get a first pick in 04 and get the white hours another phenomenal pick and if you didn't know while I was running my mouth, like a little bitch, oh! he went ahead and got that 40th rebound, and I got 73 points. And if you know, I always say this, I show no mercy to 2K because whenever 2K has their foot on your neck, they are going to keep stepping on it. So what I'm going to do, keep stepping on it, running the score up, bro. And this is a Hall of Fame, so of course I'm gonna I'm gonna score until it says zero zero on the clock. I do not care. When I have the opportunity to kill him, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him, man. And I'm going to leak the video where they straight up killed me earlier in the year. Well, not in the year, but early in the 2K year. They stumped the shit out of me when I was playing with the Wizards, man. Stumped me into the ground. Like, I had, like, my team let them boys drop 80. Not 80, man. I'm tripping. Drop 30. 
on us. I think we only had 80. I'm gonna leave the video, man. We didn't even make it past 80, I don't believe. Now, I really don't believe we made it past 80, but I know for sure they had a 30 point spread. And look at the rebounding numbers. Like I said, man, I got close to it. Yeah, I got 39 one time, and then I couldn't get a rebound for two minutes. But now I got 44. That's what I was hoping to do. I wasn't even gonna make this into a video until I started to see the numbers and the time left on the clock. But I'm like, oh, I, can, I, might, I might be able to do this. I might be able to get this 40-40 game. And I went ahead and I did that weak ass layup when the time expired. So luckily it's not going up against my stats, but we do get out of here with the 40, 40 game. I dropped 70 plus. So, you know, I was in this bitch to get the dub and show my ass. I got the four. Well, wait, 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 pause, 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 <laughs> pause. I was out here trying to do my damn best to get this 40, 40 game. I have put the Elgato on at halftime because I knew it was about to be something special. But let's take a look at the stats. Man, this was a hell of a game, man. Press the button. Press the, press the button. Press the button, boy. 79 points, 44 rebounds, 3 assists, 5 blocks. Yeah!